here we have a Volkswagen check engine light is staying on and it's because it has a faulty intake manifold pressure sensor so we're going to take a look at the codes that it's set is causing the check engine light to come on and also we're going to take a look at where that sensor is and how to replace it so uh, once you connect your scanner um, it goes ahead select Volkswagen and then your moto if your scanner allows you to if you have a generic scanner it'll just simply go read check engine codes here you want to go into engine control module uh, you have all the modules that are installed in this car but check engine light and any uh, related codes will be in the engine control module shows the V number we we'll hit OK and then you want to do read DTCs you can also clear the codes read data stream but you cannot clear the codes without making sure they're passive or just simply store codes and here we have two fault codes and what's important is to look at the state you can see they show as active active uh, you cannot clear the code with these active codes they need to be in passive or depending on the scanner it might say stored but we need to fix this so we're going to take a look at the sensor the codes here are P0108 and then it says manifold absolute pressure or bar pressure high input and then P007D charge air cooler temperature sensor circuit high bank 1 so let's take a look and see where that sensor is and what you need to do to replace it so um, you're going to move these clamps you want to move them away once you do that you can pull them out and they don't have to come completely out quite yet you have these holes right here that you simply pull out okay so now we just lift this and it does require a little bit of force but you lift this get that loose now you can put this out and then put this away might be a good time to change that engine air filter yeah. now here we have this uh, intake manifold pressure sensor and you can see that connector will lose there it's very easy and simple to replace you have these tabs right here on this side and then you simply pull it up there's a sensor right there and once you reinstall it you want to make sure that this o-ring right here the old one is not stuck there the new sensor has the o-ring otherwise it's not going to fit or if you're missing the o-ring you're going to have leak here there leak. so you push that in locks in place same thing over here press that until it locks you can hear that just click once it's locked and that's it we're done you install the air filter you connect the hoses and let's go take a look at the codes again we'll restart the car a couple of times and those codes should be changed from active to passive let's go ahead and read these codes okay so here we're gonna go to read DTCs press OK and you can see these codes both of them change from active to passive state so now we can go back and clear these codes clear fold code yes clear DTCs yes and no fold codes and see the check engine light is turned off now you technically could drive the car and within two to three days the check engine light is going to turn off on its own it takes a few driving cycles um, as long as there are no active codes if you got another code that's still active um, you need to address that otherwise that check engine light is not gonna uh, reset on its own but that's it thank you for watching